Right, this is a video to show the repair of the uh, switches on the Quad 33. Now I've already dismantled it. Uh, using a, uh, an old PACE workstation, I've removed the two uh, circuit boards from the bank of switches. Uh, the other small board is here. I've taken that off as well. Now, using a workstation, uh, you, you do not damage the circuit boards. Now, there is the switches. Now, three of the switches I have already dismantled and cleaned. So I'll not be showing you those again, but the next one I do, I will show you as I go. Pausing here. Right, switch four is the next one. This is the disc, as it happens. Uh, obviously it's interlocked with, with, with the other uh, source selection switches, but we don't need to worry about the interlock. Four little tabs you straighten up using a small pair of pliers, like so. That well, looks good enough. And carefully you can uh, just latch it so it's released and carefully lift it up put the other bank out of the way right the I can get this in the camera there's a little tab there if you lift that up I'm going to be using a pin you can then carefully withdraw the central slider uh, as you do it once you hold it firmly flick that then don't let it spring out because there's a spring there because if you do the contacts will go all over the floor and there are four sets inside here of changeover leaves which I will show you shortly so well again getting a pin I'm hoping this is still somewhere on camera carefully pry that Right, and replace the battery in the camera. The little tab uh, just in the middle, if you just prise it up, that will allow the centre to be released. But be careful because that spring uh, may cause the whole thing to spring out. Turn it upside down, you can then carefully withdraw it. Sorry, my hand's getting in the way of all this. Right, two separate parts and you can see there's four contacts which obviously slide inside there. Now the moisture you can see there was a previous application of switch cleaner which did nothing uh, as I'm sure you've read about. What I intend to do now using a, a fresh cotton bud, uh, wipe those carefully. Now again Tiny little springs are what puts the spring pressure on the contacts when it slides in and out. Uh, giving those a very careful wipe. Now be careful if they spring, they can go anywhere and they are tiny. So if you can, if you can, you can withdraw the spring carefully. But I'd, I'd leave those assembled and just very carefully wipe both sets. And also insert a cotton board, a clean one with some suitable switch cleaner. I'm using the uh, bring into the can of RS RS components, uh, cleaning fluid, bracket electronic. It smells like isopropyl. It may have something else in it. I'm not sure. Wet the cotton board, insert and clean that, and then I've got a small compressed air line to blow out any residue. And then hopefully that will cure it. Uh, I'm not going to be going into chapter and verse of rebuilding the amp itself. There's other videos on YouTube and various forums on the web. Uh, some people have actually modified them to do away with all these switches and the convoluted signal routing. I don't propose to do that. As far as I'm concerned, it's not worth it. It's just uh, an amp I picked up uh, for peanuts. So I'm hoping to just get it back in a working condition. Uh, obviously, some people. Uh, modify 
and change things so I don't intend to do all that I just thought uh, as there's no description on what's inside these switches and the first one exploded luckily I did find all the tiny components uh, on the uh, on the floor uh, I wouldn't want to do it again and if anybody wants to clean them I thought I'd make this little video to show you how to clean carefully without ending up hunting on the floor okay let's see how we go right I thought I'd just show you this bit uh, instead of using cotton bud because they were leaving fluff uh, I've started using uh, I cut down one of these Chemtronics uh, chamois leather or artificial chamois uh, plastic sticks but I've cut it down to that size so that will now go in the right end uh, and with a bit of uh, cleaning solution you can virtually burnish the inside contacts because uh, these I assume are silver plated and as you can see on the outside surface it's all tarnished uh, due to age and obviously that's what's happened inside the switches so hopefully with a bit of cleaning solution and a bit of abrasion with a cut down one of those sticks we should be able to repair all these switches. Right I'd like to point out on this one uh, the little tab that holds the whole thing together is this white uh, clip. Uh, again you tease it up and push, push the whole plunger in and the rear end will come unlatched and then you can carefully slide the whole thing out again be very careful because there's lots of little contacts inside little hook at the rear end. Safer to turn this over and all the contact are at least on the upper surface. So again it's clean those, clean those being careful not to have them ping out and using my cut down chamois I will clean inside there. Right, that one I've just done is that one uh, and there's this little spring clip to put in uh, just on the uh, right hand edge there. Uh, that is held in place by the two little tabs so take care when removing and uh, rebending the tabs because that is what, uh, what springs the latch so these four interlock. There's a sliding latch bar inside and that, that is the spring that pushes it to the left. Right, after the success of the source selector I'm going to do the EQ set as well. So you can it away.
and so on. We'll have to uh, clean the sucker. 